आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ Hello everyone let's start with today's question so today's question says that having given the basis and the sum of the areas of a number of triangles which have a common vertex then we need to show that the locus of the vertex is a straight line we need to prove that the locus of the vertex is a straight line so what we will do is we will let us consider that the coordinates of the vertex be so let the coordinates the coordinates of the vertex b h comma k we are considering the coordinates to be h comma q and let the lengths and let the lengths of the bases be l1 comma l2 comma l3 and so on we are considering the lengths to be as l1 comma l2 comma l3 and so on so what we will do is add the equation for the line and the equation is we are considering it to be x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p1 and the next one is x cos beta plus y sin beta is equal to p2 and so on these are the things three things that we are considering or we are letting them so what we, from this we can say that the uh, that the lengths of the perpendicular therefore the lengths of the perpendicular from the point hk on the basis on the basis are respectively h s cos uh, h cos alpha plus k sin alpha minus p1 this is the first length of the perpendicular the second one is h cos beta plus h cos beta minus p2 and so on and so on so now what we will do is we will therefore we can say that the sum of the areas that the sum of the areas of the triangle is constant is constant it is being said that the sum of the areas of a number of triangles which have a common vertex these are constant so what we will do is we will substitute so therefore we can write half l1 h cos alpha plus k sin alpha minus p1 plus half l2 into h cos beta plus k cos beta Minus p two plus and so on. This is equal to constant. This is equal to a constant. And let us consider and let us say that the constant is equal to c by two. We are considering it to be c by two. So we can say that the constant is equal to c by two. Now what? Or again, when we are simplifying this equation, we can say that h into l one. cos alpha plus l2 cos beta plus dot 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 plus l1 plus l1 sin alpha plus l2 sin beta plus dot 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 minus l1 p1 plus l2 p2 plus dot 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 this is equal to c because half of we are cancelling out so this is the equation now what we can do is we will generalize we will generalize so after generalizing the equation we can say that x summation of l1 cos alpha plus y into summation of l1 sin alpha minus summation of l1 p1 is equal to c this is constant so we can say that this entire thing it is an equation of a straight line it is an equation of a straight line so the question is asks that we need to prove that the locus of the vertex is a straight line so we can see that the answer is therefore proved class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains aur advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर